And good evening. How are you tonight? It is 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we are here for the Ho'oponopono Healing Meditation. I hope that you've had a great day today, uh, as have I. And I hope that you've done something today to make tomorrow better for yourself. So as we do every single night, I'm going to ask you that question to yourself. What have you done today to make life better tomorrow? And sometimes it can be something as simple as, I just rested all day long, and that's fine. But the rest of the time, what have we done? Have you been thinking about ways to grow tomorrow? Have you thought about ways to bring yourself into a better place? Have you been practicing new techniques of whatever it is you're working on? So that's what we're talking about each of these times. Because as we work towards something new, then we can clear the way. And that's what we're here to do tonight is to clear the way for whatever you're working on. So right now I want you to do one big thing. I want you to take a big deep breath and I want you to let it all out releasing all stress, all anxiety, all fear, anger, dis-ease, just let it fall away. And breathe in again. And out. And breathing in again. And out. Ah. So what this is doing, this is allowing you to let go of the past because it's already gone. Don't even need to worry about the future. It's not here yet. It's bringing you here and now in the present moment and allowing you to see that it's such a beautiful, beautiful moment. So what are we working on? I want you to think about something that you want to have, do, be, someplace you'd like to go, whatever it is, something that you have blockages with. And I want you to think about it. I want you to bring it up into your head and begin to think about it. And I'd like to say hello to everybody. Good evening, Lisa and uh, Jessica. Great to see you. I'm sure uh, Rachel and Manny are with you, it looks like. Uh, David, wonderful to see you here. Uh, and anybody else who's here that I can't see yet. <laughs> so as we begin to think about what it is we want to clear, we begin to talk about what is clearing and what are the techniques of clearing. So during this, uh, especially in the beginning half, we're using Ho'oponopono. And Ho'oponopono is um, a Hawaiian technique based on resolution. So Paula, great to see you. So when we talk about working on something, we use four phrases and we talk about clearing it or cleaning it. And the process is using four phrases. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being out of balance with my perfect self. I'm sorry for all of the data or memory that I've incurred throughout this lifetime and others. So when we talk about this data or memory, we live from two places. We either live from memory, data, or we live from inspiration. We're trying to get ourselves to a place where we live from inspiration constantly because inspiration is where greatness comes. It's where you succeed in new techniques, in new ideas, in, your, in ideas that are in your best interest. So when we say, I'm sorry, we're just saying, I'm sorry for being out of balance with myself. I'm sorry for having all of this data or memory that I've been holding on to. I'm sorry for not being able to see clearly what I need to see in order to move forward. So that's, I'm sorry. When we say, please forgive me, I'm not saying it to you and you're not saying it to me. I am saying it to myself and I'm saying it to my connection with source saying, Hey, please forgive me. I know that I'm out of balance with all of this. I know that I've got all of this data and all these memories. Please forgive me so I can let all of this go. Thank you. Gratitude is the next one. 
And when you're saying thank you, you're acknowledging to yourself that you can actually see that all of this has been happening. And you're saying, hey, thank you. Thank you for taking this on and thank you for clearing it. Thank you for taking 100% responsibility for everything going on in your life. This is one of the brilliances of this technique. We begin to look at ourselves. Nothing is external. I'm not clearing on you and you're not clearing on me. We're clearing on our perceptions. If I see something going on with you, if I look out here and go, okay, well, here's this whole thing called coronavirus out here. Good evening, Leanne and Nancy. Great to see you. You know, we've got, uh, so we talk about the coronavirus being out here. So when I'm cleaning on it, I'm not cleaning on the coronavirus itself. I'm cleaning on my perception. I'm cleaning on everything that I can see. And by doing that, and by all of us clearing on that and cleaning on that, we're able to clean on our perceptions of these things and these things begin to shift. So it's a beautiful process. And so we were just talking about gratitude. So gratitude for us taking 100% responsibility for everything going on in our life. Once again, I'm not cleaning on you. You're not cleaning on me. We're cleaning on ourselves. And then finally, our fourth phrase, I love you. So on the surface, how can we love anything else if we can't love ourselves? So we begin with looking in the mirror and saying, hey, I love you. I love you. I love you. And really feeling that. But the bigger thing is we're saying, hey, I love you for taking action for seeing imbalances, for seeing that something's wrong and really taking action. So instead of reacting to something, we are taking the action necessary to bring ourselves into a better place. Really that simple. So we've brought whatever we're thinking about, we've brought it into the head and now we're going to drop it down into the heart because the heart's the best place to clear. When we clean in the heart, you know, all of our perceptions, we love from the heart, we, we're, we hate from the heart, we're angry from the heart. Everything that happens is in the heart. You know, when we're trying to do a new business deal, we'll always really go to the heart. Well, what does it feel like? And we say that on a regular basis, even people who don't feel things, they say, oh, I don't feel anything. I don't, you know, I can't, I can't perceive any of this. And then they say, well, I didn't do this business deal because it didn't feel right. So there's the big contradiction right there. And what's happening is that people have never been taught to put into words what they feel. So that's the brilliance of this is we begin to identify all of these feelings that we have and we begin to be able to put a language to it. We say, okay, well, when I feel this way, this is the language that goes along with it. So... Now we've brought whatever it is we're thinking of, we've brought it into our heart, and we're going to start cleaning on it with the four phrases, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. 
I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And now we go to Ganesha, the remover of obstacles. And we ask Ganesha to come through and remove all the obstacles keeping us from achieving whatever it is we're working on. But in true form for Ganesha, we ask this to be of all beings. We ask for Ganesha to remove the obstacles for all beings so that we all may move forward. So the merits in this are that you are asking not only for yourself, but for all beings. And through that, we also gain the merits we need to move forward. Om Gam Ganapadeya Namaha 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 frequencies moving through your body. The vibration. And now we move into 
the mantra of Guan Yin Bodhisattva. Guan Yin, Guan Yin's mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om the Jewel and the Lotus Hum. This is a beautiful mantra because we are the lotus that grows up through the mud, through the water, above the water to open up is a beautiful flower. And inside that beautiful flower is a jewel. We are the jewel. We are the jewel in the lotus. And as we polish that jewel, right now that jewel might be muddy. It just grew up out of the mud. So as we polish that jewel by doing good things, by having good merits, by chanting, by doing our practice, by practicing love and kindness, all of these things consistently polish this jewel. And that jewel, when it's fully polished, becomes bright and we come into our own enlightenment. Buddha, the master healer, the master doctor, to come and to heal all of mankind. Heal the humans, heal the animals, heal the earth, the skies, the heavens, heal all aspects of life. After this mantra, I will take just a moment and send the Medicine Buddha energy into each and every one of us. I will call the Medicine Buddha into my body and have him work through me, sending around the world. They are ta home, back on their, back on their, Maha back on their, Raja Samun got their so high. They are ta home, back on their, back on their, Maha back on their, Raja Samun got their so high. 
der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha der da hon beckon sehr beckon sehr ma beckon sehr rajo samun gate so ha just sit and receive the energy of the medicine buddha feeling all of these frequencies move through the body you can visualize the medicine buddha's lapis lazuli light beautiful brilliant blue Finally, tonight we will chant the mantra Komyo Shingon or Mantra of Light. This is the mantra of Dainichi Nyorai, otherwise known as Mahavairochana Buddha. This is a mantra to bring light and to bring power into everything we're working on. This is the light we use for awakening, for enlightenment but it's also the light that we use to make it through every single day and to thrive through every single moment. Om Mamoga Vairochana Mahamudra Mani Padman Jvala Paravadeya Om Om Mamoga Vairochana Mahamudra Mani Bhagavan Jvala Prabhataya Om Om Mamoga Vairochana Mahamudra Mani Bhagavan Jvala Prabhataya Om Om Mamoga Vairochana Mahamudra Mani Bhagavan Jvala Prabhataya Om Om Mamoga Vairochana Mahamudra Mani Bhagavan Jvala Prabhataya Om Om Mamoga Vairochana Mahamudra Mani Padman Jvala Prabhadaya Om 
Om Namo Gavai Rochana Mahamudramani Padma Jala Bravade Aham Om Namo Gavai Rochana Mahamudramani Padma Jala Bravade Aham Om Namo Gavai Rochana Mahamudramani Padma Jala Bravade Aham Om Namo Gavai Rochana Mahamudramani Padma Jala Bravade Aham Om Namo Gavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Padma Jala Bravade Aham Om Namo Gavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Padma Jala Bravade Aham Om Namo Gavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Padma Jala Bravade Aham Om Namo Gavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Padma Jala Bravade Aham Om Namo Gavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Padma Jala Bravade Aham Om Namo Gavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Padma Jala Bravade Aham Om Namo Gavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Padma Jala Bravade Aham Om Namo Gavai Rochana Mahamudra Mani Padma Jala Bravade Aham Just take a moment, once again, let all of these frequencies flow through the body, breathing in and breathing out from the crown all the way down through the bottom of the feet, becoming clear, becoming balanced, having all the energy that we need to move forward every single day all the energy we need to tackle amazing feats. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for your support. And until our 10 p.m. meditation, our sitting meditation, may you be well, may you be happy, may you be healthy, please stay healthy. May you be blessed always. Be happy, be happy, be happy. I love you and I will see you at 10 p.m. Or if you just want to come back for tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.